Okay, here I am at Gale Snatch or Glass Creek. Um, I have to keep my voice down a bit because it's election day and so many power, power walkers are out walking around, walking their poodles and whatever. Hopefully we can do some good. Yeah, I've been coming up this drain for over 30 years. I haven't been up, up it for a few years. I've been outside it filming extreme urbex hardcore. So if you haven't seen my first one of these walking through a drain videos, I did one at in Bourbon. I was a bit drunk. Um, and it was just unrehearsed. This is a bit more. I'm going to try and keep to a schedule of sorts. Um, I'm just waiting until I get away from the entrance so I can talk a bit louder. Oops, that looks pretty old. I think I did that back in the day. Tosh. Tosh is a, was in the clan for a few years. He's a good guy. Um, yeah, so... Um, I have a couple of torches. I'm just going to use this one for a bit. The other one's probably brighter, but I think this will be all right for now. That's pretty cool. Guinea pigs, Craig, Sean. That looks pretty cool. Probably not coming out too well on the camera. So, I asked for some questions for this video from people on Instagram and so I might read a few out. I should point out that I, um, I wrote these questions down on a bit of paper and I haven't rehearsed so I'll pretty much be making it up as I go. Okay, I don't have names for all of these for some reason. Um, someone asked, what is the helicopter and a rope business all about? Well, basically, we were talking about trying to get into these mines that were um, really hard to get to and um, Swipe said, we need a helicopter. And um, then he sort of, he could see the penny drop. He's sort of thinking. And he's like, oh, we can't, um, we can't land a helicopter. So he just chucked in, and a rope. So what happened was uh, basically every time, every time, um, so I keep looking at these paintings, they're pretty cool. Yeah, so he'd say, uh, yeah, and a rope. So then it just got, whenever we had trouble trying to get into a location, it was sort of a way of saying how hard it was. Like, we need a helicopter. And then the retort or the comeback was, and a rope. So for a while, it actually became a thing in the cave plan where helicopter and a rope. So you don't see it so much now, but every now and again you'll see it. Um, I was there on that day, that's Phil who started the Canberra clan. He's originally from Adelaide, Oscar's his brother. Prowler and Doug, 97, so shit, 25 years ago. Wow. Crit 89. Actually, I think I'll switch over to the other torch. Doug Owen, Rock. That's my brother. Predator and Georgie, both part of the Big Drain Posse. G'day from Triple J Inc. Triple J with these three guys named John. John, John and John. Um, I'm probably not now if I tell you their clan names you'll know who they are. It's not that hard to figure out. Triple J Inc. first the 5th 89. This was their local drain. 
I don't know what this is all about. To Duggo, thanks for sticking up for me, Yogi Triple J Inc. So since there goes the tram, new crew, um, uh, the legendary Lost in Space logo by Prowler. Um, Gross, 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 whatever he's. The last few years made a bit of a comeback, or a big comeback. Doesn't talk to me, but... Duggo, 20th of the 9th, 89. Oh, God, I was 21. I just, I was a week over 21. Um, oh, yeah, TGP, the gummy bears. That's, uh, um, Warp is in the gummy bears. We might find an old warp tag. Yeah, so since I did the uh, bourbon, since I did the bourbon uh, video like two days ago, I got a message from someone saying they got one of the location lists. I kept calling them a drain guide, but they're not drain guides, they're location lists. The drain guides are massive. Uh -huh. I do, I will keep interrupting myself for like classic pieces of art. So, and I'll probably lose my train of thought, but um, Vampires, that was a group that joined the cave clan, I'm not sure who it was, Night Stalker, maybe Popcorn, The Count, oh there you go, the Popcorn, The Count, Sparks, Night Stalker, Stalker, Fang, I don't know, most of them didn't do heaps. Nice soccer was, you know, went on to win the gold plenty, but normally people would join the cave clan or groups would join the cave clan. But most groups it was just, as most, a lot of you can probably relate to, there'd be one or two of you that are obsessed and then all you hang on mates that aren't really into it. And they get over it after a couple of drains, but, um, well, they'd join cave clan. And, you know, the main ones would join and the rest would would, um, would fuck off, go do other stuff, skate or whatever the next thing is. Red Berries. The Red Berries was originally just that part. It was like triangle and then we'd fuck it up by putting all those. Red Berries was alien and um, which was just a muck around thing and we were the harmonious harpy hunters and we had a like a graffiti war so we we're all cave player members but we just created these fake groups and um, they used to give each other shit. That's pretty cool. The next question is from Greg Abandon and it's actually to um, Jim Zerbex in Adelaide. So I think he's got his wires crossed, but Jim Zerbex, if you can do a little snippet explaining what your um, Favourite Mad Max movie is, I'll chuck it in here. Favourite Mad Max movie? Two, by a long shot. Um, Favourite George Miller movie? Happy Feet. Unpopular opinion. Hey Santo. Um, hey Fung. Hey Goose. There used to be a goose in the cave play. Hey Stephen, who I'm not sure what is his scoring name, whether he just called himself Stephen, but he asked me when's the next barbecue on, which unfortunately was last night at um, Alpham Darky for, I don't know, Crit, ISOs, a couple of other people's birthdays. And um, yeah, so sorry, we just kind of know when the next one is. Uh, he also said, what did you have for dinner tonight? Well, the funny thing is, it's only two o'clock in the afternoon on election day. It's, it's a bit of a pattern, actually. The federal election day, last time I did a video, it was the Clannies voting, uh, Clannies awards. I remember I had some Vlaki about an hour ago. Side tunnel. This tunnel goes for a long way, but it's not very exciting. I think it eventually goes red brick. Um, Conan, he's a cool dude. These guys. I think they were the first couple 
been a relationship between a cave plant couple. I agree with that. Many, many years ago. Cave plant here growing the cat. Sound a bit paranoid now because this torch is going flat. Uh, there's a little ramp. A lot of people ask me about um, can we go exploring sometime, but it's not that I don't want to. I just, the way my life is and living so far away, um, you know, I really have to. Sometimes I can do things suddenly that are really not planned. And, yeah. Like Trump. Um, but anyway, the point is it's just really hard. So if I don't hook up with you, if you hear that I did something like this and I didn't invite you and I said, yeah, we'll do it one day, you know, don't don't take it the wrong way. Shit just happens really quickly for me or, or the opposite. Take forever. Off the snow pea also asks when the next expo is. I don't really plan expos anymore, I just go along to other people's, but maybe I can get a few people together and we can plan a, another gathering. Maybe Great Stairway or something. Somewhere fun. The filths, not the filth, the filths asked, how are my lungs after all these years of drains? Um, pretty good. Oh, I've got to take a photo of this to use use in the uh, poo zine that I've just about finished. I better stop and do that. And yeah, no, my lungs are pretty good. I don't smoke. I'm not into, I don't smoke um, weed or anything like that or cigarettes. But you know, I'll probably get lung cancer. But um, so far so good. Who the hell is Kabuki? I'm going to pronounce it wrong, but some, but Robski. He asked if I get pissed off when I see um, graffiti over, you know, old bluestone and things like that. But I do get a bit pissed off. Um, but you can probably tell I don't, I don't have a problem with all the um, pieces on concrete. I've got to go to the headlamp. Damn it, that torch lasted me like the whole video last time. Yeah, but this stuff's cool. It's just, you know, even at features like the Great Stairway, we sort of painted over all the old cave fan graffiti, thinking, you know, let's keep the feature clear. And, you know, people just pieced it straight away. That kind of shits me. Red brick, blue stone stuff. Um, not so much red brick tunnels, but just features where there's like, you know, a red brick section. But what's the point? Like, I probably get uh, more annoyed with all the cave fan graffiti. Like I went through mini tents to do some filming to get some old graffiti. You know, it's all been pieced over. And yet if you do a little tag on the corner of a piece, they're like, no, oh, go over, go over my graffiti. Um, and yet they've gone over you know, 25 year old graffiti. Speaking of graffiti, um, yeah, this drain's heaps better for uh, people not going over shit, I've noticed. Um, there is a major fucking gas leak in here. It smells like a kitchen when you leave the stove on. Well, that'd be a gas leak. Get your Drano in ya. This is a notice board. Um, so I, said, I started the guest books. That was another one of my ideas. Um, this is old woody graffiti, but someone's gone over it. See, woody graffiti is quite rare. Drain explorers of the world unite. It's like a parchment bullet hole. That's typical woody stuff. I put the paint, the frame around it to try and make it last a bit longer. I did that years later. Yeah, so the guest books are something I had an idea with to try and, you know, they're just interesting and all that, but they get filled up pretty quickly. Um, my plan was to just keep doing another one and another one in areas where there's concrete, but... Um, yeah, it's good. It's good when you go... Like now that the years are up. I wish we had done them earlier. But some people know how to make their tags stand down. Um, Hi girls. Gotta figure out how to get this light working without shadows and all that shit. 
The inside smells like piss. The green glass creaking, you hear that roar. It's a tram going over, it's not a flood. Well, hopefully it's not a flood. Um, so the old ones are 8 99 this sketchbook was put up by looks of it. 7th of the 8th. 99. So, oh, it's gone red brick. So this is quite big. This is a lot bigger here. Yeah, so this, this will probably look... Whereas Bourbon was quite small so I could light it all up. Whereas this, this is going to be... Unless I film the wall like that, you're not going to be able to really see it, I think. And it's slippery as fuck. It's funny, I can remember how every little thing was exciting when we first explored drains. Like this thing here, we were like, oh wow! It's like, you know, a slit in the wall. Which, you know, the postage box. And we used to leave things here sometimes. But um, everything was exciting. And sorry if I'm getting these names wrong, but anyway, Leonor Explores asked if I'm still in touch with Big Ears. Um, then does he still do drains? Um, look, I still see him every so often. He seems to be doing pretty good. What? Oh, here he is now. How you going, mate? Good, Michelle. Good, good, good. I guess you can answer that question yourself. Are you still doing music in drains? Music's whore. I just do noise. Okay. Well, I come for a little walk up the drain. Um, are you still doing many drains? Big ears. Big ears. Where the fuck did he go? Oh, that's a bit weird. Oh well. well. Hopefully that answers your question. Lone One asked for Sydney maps of drains. Yeah. Don't know about that. Contact the Sid plan. See how you go. This drain keeps changing like you know, it's sort of got like flat walks on the side and angled bit in the middle, which is quite handy. Quite good. I like it. Exploring with the gringo asked me which is the best and worst strain in Australia and why. Um, um, yeah, so... Well, mine pretty much hands down is is uh, the best is is um, Hobart Darkie or the uh, whole Rivulet system. Um, why? Just because it just nothing changes as much as Hobart Darkie is. If you walk more than two minutes, you find a feature or a change. Um, there's some pretty cool artwork in there. It's just, it's just an awesome drain. And every time I go back, because it's so far away, which keeps it interesting, like Maze is a great drain, but you see, do it whenever you want, really. Um, but it always seems to be a bit more of Hobart Darky put underground, a little bit, you know, even just the building over it. But um, yeah, and, and that's, that's a bonus too, because you don't have heaps of, um, you can't, don't get a chance to do it all the time. But um, Fortress is good, um, same reason. Well, yeah, you know, it's a bit more repetitive than Hobart. Everything is. Maze, Jesus, uh, I'm, I'm getting so old, I get the Brisbane ones mixed up, but the really good one in Brisbane, uh, Adelaide Darky, V in Adelaide, Secret Squirrels in Canberra. Yeah, here's my list of questions. Uh, we want to see the best attempt at Fortnite dancing, says Mariachi. Mate, I was going to do it. I was going to Google it and rehearse. And, but now, my main torch has died and I'm sort of a bit, a bit paranoid. These four have gone really steep now. It's good. I like this drain. Um, yeah, so sorry, El Mariachi. Hopefully one day I'll get to perform um, in the flesh um, 
and, and that will be satisfactory for you. If someone was to ask why you like drains, how would you explain it, says Urbex Memories? Oh, you know, the old getting away from it, like now I'm really, I'm really enjoying these, doing it on my own. Fucking hell, is the drain getting bigger again? A bit of everything. I like the sounds. I like looking at who's been here since I was here last. Like the graffiti. Um, eventually it's sort of, oh, there you go, warp. Warper. TGB 97. TGB crew. K Plan R homos. Big dons and wads of cash. I just feel really at home and I, you know, I really enjoy it. And then when I do, I like doing it with lots of people. It's like a real good, for me, it's a good social outlet, get away from the real world. Um, always like finding changes and features. Um, I'm not so much into, I mean, the reason we used to do, um, KLP, which is a cave clan crew, Neyland Posse. You guys can work it out. Um, yeah, so I always thought, oh yeah. Um, I don't know what I was saying, yeah. Yeah, no, it's just cool, it's just good. Um, going in drains is good. Um, uh, and I just feel really comfortable in them, and, you know. I don't have any problems with it. Mr. Happy. I'm not, uh, like, I'm not trying to be silage or curly. I don't, I'm not interested in doing every drain in the world and dedicating my life to drains. I like having a life outside of um, cave plan and drains. There you go. Can you see that? Fucking awesome. Looks like someone's lit a fire up here. It's all burnt. Black. My torch eye's not going to pick up very well. I'll get the next question here. Okay, it's gone into a big mummy shape. Sticker bomber asks, how do I find urbex? Um, well, oh yeah, there's definitely been a fire here. Oh, look at that. Um, a bit of a mess. Sticker Bomber asks, how do you find urbex? And I would say, just get out there, mate. Just get out there, do some drains, do some boring, mate. Just look. Or go to www.caveplan.org um, and click on the contact link and then follow all that, read all the shit, and then You'll find it that way. The wall little stairway. Love this train. When they were asking before, what do I, how would, how would I explain why I do drain, why I like just have a look at the, I know this video is not the best, but just have a look at the tunnel, the way it keeps changing and that. It's great. You could run tours through these. Nom de plume asks, am I mates with Hugh Dunnett? Um, well, as much as mates as anyone can be with Hugh. He, uh, very secretive, keeps to himself. Uh, lives in uh, Saudi Arabia nowadays. Um, when he's not uh, living at his... Um, at his house on the Gold Coast. He's, got, he's always between Gold Coast and Saudi Arabia. But, um, yeah, I know Hugh. Known him for years. Done quite a few drains with him. I'm actually having a chat with him tomorrow on, um, on WhatsApp, I think. So, yeah, I'll, I'll let him know that people were asking about him. Leonore Explores asked again if I've been caught in a flood. This is a shit thing about being caught in a flood. You hit your head on something like that, or that, you're pretty much fucked. Um, I haven't. Uh, I've been caught in floods, as in the water's gone up a bit, but 
I haven't been washed out or anything like that. The early one was Forgotten Darkie, which anyone involved in the clans heard it, where about 15 of us, which was the whole cave plan at the time, we went up Forgotten. It was a bad day, we shouldn't have done it. Yeah, basically it started pissing down and we all split up, some went back out, some climbed up a side tunnel. The group I was with kept trying to find another way out and the water was getting so bad we climbed up the same side tunnel which they'd left the manhole off so we could see the light, but there was a lot more water when we, we were crawling out, it was hitting us in the face. But the problem back in those days is we didn't have phones. We couldn't speak to each other or couldn't contact each other, so we all just gradually met back up at my place. And I think Roxy went home, but no one sort of seen her get out the drain. So for, yeah, for a few days we were like, oh, she's dead, but she wasn't. Um, yeah, and then a few others. You can, if you look at my Iron Fist Doug channel and, you know, before you go in drains, watch these. I've got a couple of those wet talks about flooding in drains. Phil dropped a big smelly turd in Duggo's tomb. Okay, I've got to stop and get another photo. And then Phil says, I did. Looks a bit like one of my drawings. I smelt it. Duggo isn't gay, that ash is on Tuesdays. Murray Archie, just another demand, he says, Hey Dago, can you scratch my back? I don't know, that's how I imagine he sounds. Do you want to fuck with me? Says El Maliachi. I am the Hamaliachi. I am Pikachu, is it Pikachu or whatever? I'm so bad with all that shit. Pikachu says, Pikachu, not Pikachu. Little square side tunnel thing. Pikachu says to Duggo, to me, I have to point it out because it's not obvious. Um, how do you handle each day being so handsome? Look mate, I, I don't really want to get emotional in these videos, but it's fucking hard, seriously. Like, just getting treated like an object. Um, you know, I'd, sorry, I'm, I'm choking up. I can't, I actually have to stop the film. Hang on a minute. Okay, I'm back. We're in a round pipe, by the way, now. Some guy called Shitkunt asked if anyone has ever got a job working for Sydney Water, or as it says, or any other state's water board. Look, there's been a few. I probably, it's, it's a bit dodgy mentioning it just in case, um, you know, they're still working there, but Predator did. Uh, Predator was like fully going into stormwater drains for work. Um, which is some people have worked for Melbourne Water and that, but they're like sitting at a desk pushing a pen or whatever. Whereas Predator was lucky enough to, to go in a drains and get paid for it. Um, okay, so we're getting up to a little room. No, yeah. This is called the Gummy Bears room, or it was. Um, I think it's all sort of gone over shit. I think, I think Underground Melbourne asked me a question, I think. I know you guys all have these fucking names. Urbex Melbourne, Urbex. Victoria, Urbex underscore Melbourne, Urbex underscore Victoria. All that kind of shit. So, none of us old schoolers have got any idea who you are. You're all just new school until you come up with a name like Doug, Bob, Jono. Oh, we're getting some pretty cool echoes going here. I don't know how this is gonna come out on the camera, but everything's bouncing back off the waterfall up ahead. I'll do a thump.
Do you have any funny stories with the police when in dreams? Says Michael Falakas, Falaska or something. Um, I don't know, I forget what I told last time, but um, the police came <coughs> up to the chamber and we were having a movie night. And keep in mind, like, we're in a stormwater drain, we've got a projector, and we've got like 80 people there. So the police are like, you know what mode the police are in, like, what the fuck? And um, unbeknownst, unbeknownst to most of us, when they first walked in, they said to Amoebix, what the fuck are you guys doing in here? And Amoebix said, we're fucking goats. Yeah, so the police started questioning people, what are you doing here? And we said, we're just watching movies. And um, they're like, we don't care if you're watching movies, are you fucking goats? And you see these cops asking other people at the same time, where's, you know, what's happening with the goats? Where's the goats? Yeah, so for a little while we were goat fuckers. There was a bit of filming at the gas room. It goes up to a waterfall up here. I think I can actually hear it. So I'm fucking hopeless. I've been up this train so many times and now I'm getting sucked into going up. Fuck it, I'm turning around. Inside the cobra's den. It's not very safe in here. There's um, lots of candles and that, but this actually has exploded. Bob was once, uh, it actually blew up. He was out in the tunnel and burnt all the hairs off his arms and all the leaves in the drain were on fire. It's a bit dodgy anyway, people using it should be a bit careful uh, whether they've fixed a gas leak that, um, I don't know, but yeah, some pretty cool, pretty cool artwork here if you want to come and have a look. Yeah, so it used to be called the Cobra's Den. When we first found it there was no graffiti, no junk, nothing in here. It's a fucking cesspit now. One good thing about Cave Clan, we make the most out of the place. Nice displays, isn't it? Um, more, do not serve these people, ah, okay, that's hilarious. Do not serve these people, this is for the bar room. I'll leave a couple of these dead chopper things here. They don't actually, um, stick very well anyway. Yeah, so as you can see here, um, yeah, cobras. It's not cobra from drain drawers, it was already here before drain drawers. Big Ears is going to want to come and film here now because trams go over here. I think I have anything else to say to you guys. Well, I'm just going to go crawl up this tunnel for half an hour. Hour? Hello? Hello? What? Doggo. But, um, yeah, I don't think, I don't think I'll keep doing these, but I might. I don't know, a couple of you kiss my ass. It doesn't take much for me. Four people are interested. I'll do another one. Um, yeah. But, um, all right. Cheers. And, um, I'll catch you later. Getting up. These ducks will be like, not this kind again. Quacky, hello, quacky, quack, quack, quack. No point hanging around. You people. I'll scare these ducks away and the kids might fuck off. The kids are just out to the left. Can't fuck off ducks. Get the shit out of him before I walked out. Hagrid! <laughs>